Hey everybody, in this video we're going to show you how to lock in the fiat value of your cryptocurrency using futures. Today if you're holding cryptocurrency and you want to lock in the value of that crypto, you have three options. You could sell the cryptocurrency for fiat, you could sell the cryptocurrency for stable coins, or you can use futures to lock in the US dollar value of your cryptocurrency. In this video we're going to use the production website with real money to show you how you can do that. So here we are on the live Kraken Futures production website. So we're gonna do this demonstration with real money in the real world. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna move funds from our holding wallet over to our futures wallet. Remember, your holding wallet is your cold storage wallet at Kraken Futures. Nothing you do on the trading side will affect your balance in your holding wallet. Your futures wallet is your wallet that's used for margin. Here we're gonna move 0 0.013 Bitcoin over so we now have $98.22 worth of margin. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to place an order. We're going to use the Bitcoin perpetual contract in this example. We're going to get out our order book. And we're going to go, we're going to use a market order for ease of use. And we're going to go exactly 1x short. So we want to short $98 worth of Bitcoin. It's worth noting, uh, we learned as we did this, that you, I learned as, we did, as I did this, that you can only put round numbers in because that's the contract size. So this will not work. We have to go back and do it at $98 even. So let's double check. We've got $98 in our quantity field. You need to make sure it's as close as possible to the futures wallet value. $98 in our futures wallet and we're gonna sell short to lock in that $98 worth of crypto value. So at the time of entry in this trade, we're exactly 1x leverage. Our entry price is $7,569 and we're $98 short. Let's fast forward a few days. Turns out we did this trade at the beginning of a really nice bull run. So let's look at our open positions. We're still exactly 1x leverage. Our entry price was 7,569. The current mark price is 8,313. And our, our futures wallet value hasn't changed. We're gonna close the position now so you'll see that come back to the full value. So let's close the position with a limit order. We're gonna go $98, uh, that's what we put in. We're gonna set our limit price. Let's try to get as close to top of book as we can. And we want to do reduce only. Let's double check our quantity. And we are going to go long to close the short position. Again, let's update it to make sure we are top of book. And we're going to go long. You can see the order show up in the order book. We're top of book. And let's give it a few seconds to see if, it can, if the trade will get hit. Waiting, and there it is. So our limit order was taken. We have no open positions, and importantly, our futures wallet balance is exactly $98 still. So the only difference that you'll see between the amount that you lock in and the amount that you take out when you close the position will be due to exchange trading fees and due to funding rate charges. It's important to bear in mind that the funding rate is not a fee charged by the exchange but rather a fee paid by one side of the contract to the other based entirely on market demand. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video, and we look forward to continuing forward with you. Thank you.